All right, there she is. Magnificent solar system that does this. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this will be part two of, I'm guessing, four parts. We've got the first one I already filmed and shared, which is kind of the idea stage. We had metal, we had not formed it into a box, and I was describing the different parts of it. And now it is mostly constructed. The third part will likely be the, the install onto, oh, you can't see, it's too bright out there. There we go. Onto the Airstream. So we'll show you once it's up there and um, working and stuff like that. And then part four, I assume, will be kind of a recap after a bit of use and saying, hey, this worked out or, oh, dang, something went wrong. <laughs> so anyways, back to this. Let's give you a rundown. So there is a, um, a panel on top. And uh, it's just going to sit there. It's going to be fixed. And uh, the point is that it um, will always have sun on it. And it'll actually be uh, as high or... Um, let me zoom in here to the Airstream. So it should be to the top of the uh, air conditioner. A little bit lower than it. So we're not adding extra height. And so there will be no shade from the air conditioner or the fan. So that's really nice. Back to this now. Um, so it'll always have power and it'll always do, oh, I don't know, it does, it's a 310 watt panel. So 280 is what I've been seeing out of it, 290 maybe. Um, and then in the winter months, obviously a little bit less. So there is obviously, I think you got the idea that there's a, another panel on this side, a little bit higher. We've got big, huge, beefy slides. I think I showed those off in the first video. They are Vidania slides. They should handle 300 pounds. These are 40, but we wanted to account for wind and um, just strong slides to just take the beatings over the years, of course. So um, as you can see, this is how it worked out. I think in the previous video, we did not have a, as much of a curve as it is now. Um, that was, you know, part of the prototype, part of the Airstream with a curved roof. Doing one without a curved roof would be way easier. So, um, okay, so let's walk through a couple of the build aspects. Um, we are using M, M8s, um, we would try to find M7 bolts and nuts. I tell you what, that was the most surprisingly expensive part of it. These bolts, um, could have got them online, I guess, but just ran to the hardware store, dollar a piece, basically, or 90 cents a piece. Anyways, a bunch of them, as you can see, with thread locker, and then um, bolting using M6s to uh, the panel, obviously drilling through part of the aluminum and into the panel. So um, just a bunch of those as well. Let's get it fully extended. It should lock in place. We went with, I mean, these panels are 41 something, 41 and a quarter. We went with the 44 inch slides obviously we didn't go all the way out to the edge um, so that was one thing having one on each side is important to distribute the weight pretty evenly they do lock out but they are these slides are very finicky if it's at all um, not square you know not even they have a, seem to have a trouble locking so <laughs> You lift up on them and go all the way in. So getting it square is going to be important so that it will lock in inside. So now this is an obvious, um, I guess you'd almost call this a prototype, whether or not this actually gets uh, like other people want one, I'm not sure. So 
it is pretty locked in there, but I think with some bumps, it could come unlocked. And so trusting it, I don't think is something we want to do. So <laughs> what may end up happening is a, a, a tough rubber band um, bungee, one of those more industrial versions would probably have to go here and uh, put a hole down here and just make sure it doesn't come out. Maybe even two of them it makes it more of a pain to get it out. And, um, but I think it's going to be worth it to not have this ever come out. So, uh, that's one thought. Um, also another thing is I think in the design stage, um, we were worried about those handles not looking great and therefore designing it so that it didn't pop out. But, um, if there was another stage, another development of this, the next design would definitely have them out because they aren't fun to get to when they're in and it's not fun to grab on to this and having, I guess I can make sure this isn't too sharp just with a little bit of filing. Um, that would also help to not have this gap that we solved with a bit of uh, angle iron. Um, but what this does is allows us to, when we place it on top, so this isn't fixed in there, it'll be very easy to just secure this. Um, so that's a nice element because securing on this size where, side where it is nice and snug is going to require something. Oh, it wouldn't be too hard, some sort of angle there as well, angle metal. It wouldn't be too hard. So it is removable and it is important that this um, is removable and that this isn't placed up on top uh, because you have to move out the slides. Hey, let me show you the inner workings. All right, so we have removed the top one and this is the inner workings. Uh, sorry, got a little bit of grass on there. I'm gonna go out all the way on this side. Actually, I should have showed you this one so because one of the most complicated things was actually trying to figure out the wiring um see this is why this is a pain on this side so if we were ever to do another one making that more accessible would be the thing okay so let me show you the wiring and all the insides shall we let's do that so we had to drill through the panels because I couldn't think of another way to do that. I'm pretty sure this is the only way that I could think of. So, there you go. So, we may wrap this in some black tape, electrical tape, so that it isn't any scratchy scratchy on any of the panels. I know the panels are tough and can withstand hailstorms and it can withstand a lot, but thousands of miles of vibrations may still take a toll on it. So I'm going to wrap this up and then this should be pretty soft, but we're going to wrap these up. Um, I still need to attach the other wires that will go out uh, over there. And then um, the top one, so that I'll have a three connector, which I think, there it is, right there. Um, okay, so I don't think, oh, we got the, the sloped. So the plan right now, of course, that may be covered in the next video, is to use the 3M industrial uh, tape. I have actually um, attached metal solar panels when I first did the Airstream. And they lasted for many years until I decided those 90 watt solar panels weren't that great. Three of them filled up the whole entire Airstream. Solar had advanced and then I moved to putting up five flexible panels, which that's a no-no because flexible panels usually suck unless you get the really expensive types and I don't even, can't even vouch for those. But the five flexible ones, two of them kind of 
broke pretty quickly. And the other three were working for a little while. And then after when I took them off, only one worked. So I salvaged one from that whole thing. And I don't even think it works. It deteriorated quite a bit. So we're going back to glass panels, but we want 900 watts <laughs> up from 180. Um, that barely hit, never hit. I mean, it maybe did 100 watts to 500 watts that deteriorated down to giving me maybe 60. <laughs> and now these I've had sitting outside and they consistently give me 800, even flat sitting in the grass out there. So now we're hoping, I mean, I'm hoping I mean, even 700 would be awesome most days. Okay, so that's a little side note. We also have these angled in if we want to give even more attachment to the roof. I guess you could never be too safe. Um, so there you go. So here are the, the bolts. Okay, so and to recap, we had this stuff already, so kind of the design was already set around having this on the top. Um, and that was an important to, oh, we have some plastic, I guess is important to, to mention, some tough cutout plastic to make these pop out to help match this aspect. So I think, I mean, there could be another design to get three, but you definitely need to to be able to match these. So you could just have straight aluminum and then put the plastic only on the last, um, on the top one. But as you can see, it definitely is much better looking this way. Um, prototype things, it was a little bit of, well, I already mentioned one, the levers not coming out was actually um, not a, a mistake, but a design like we would definitely, I would definitely design it differently that way. Uh, the mistake was a small measurement mistake uh, there. So we had to chop and then re-weld. <laughs> and by we, I mean my brother, who is a saint. Thank you. Because I can't do, I, he designed all this, of course. And he designs other cool stuff I should show. Like... A supercar. <laughs> and a lot of people watch his YouTube channel to see that. In any case, are there any questions? Um, this again, part two. One was kind of all the materials. I think maybe I went over costs, perhaps. I know costs a little bit better. Um, 240 for each of these three, um, 260, the slides, 170 times two, um, cabling, don't actually know that, um, and then bolts and nuts, 35, and the time, oh, uh, a lot. The design, a uh, lot, <laughs> I mean, so a lot of that is, I guess, somewhat free, but should be counted. I guess the big question is, would there be a use case for this? And would someone, the panels are assumed, the wiring's assumed, that's assumed, right? But would someone want the ability to expand? Would there be enough of it? I mean, one other person, of course, probably. But would there be dozens, hundreds? I'm guessing not thousands, hundreds of needs for this. I mean, someone could stack them up, you know, obviously if it's flat, it gets even easier. But if you had roof space for three of them, think about that, that's 2,700 watts. If you could put three of these and you could make them go clear stuff decently, especially if you chose one side compared to the other, you could even do a fifth one <laughs> or do it with five panels. 
one going out this way, one going out that way. Um, but that's obviously not what has been designed here. Um, are you interested in seeing? Do you have any concerns about it working or not working? I'd love to, to hear it. Um, anything you think I should... Uh... Oh, and, and oh, I was talking about attachment, which would be the next video. We're going to use that industrial tape that I mentioned has worked for years. And, and most people, use, I mean, a lot of people realize how good it is. It's so strong, but we're also going to put a few rivet points in there as well. So um, just for added peace of mind. Uh, so there you go. Any thoughts? Any wiring? How would you have wired? It seems like that's the only real option. Okay. I don't know. It's pretty dang cool, isn't it? I am interested how it handles wind, so I want to get it installed um, and sit in place for a little while and see how well it handles wind. After I install, I think drive it around a bit, come back, double check everything. Um, I'm pretty, pretty positive about it, though. It looks pretty good.